Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, actually, I'm doing this video because I noticed that there are very, very few reviews of the V2 uh, from Do the Cycle. So, since I have one uh, and I'm quite pleased with it, I thought I would run you through the, the pros and cons. So, this one is a 2020 version. You can see that it's a 2020 by this kind of small corner here, uh, which is kind of reinforced. Uh, uh, they just reinforced it. It's a 800 uh, long base with a black box, with a canopy, with a Shimano steps, and with an Enviolo hub at the back. Uh, otherwise, everything is uh, basic. So, <coughs> and there's pros and cons, uh, clearly. Uh, one of the big pros is actually at the front, that's uh, this. Uh, so this is this steering mechanism, which is bitable cable, and that allows to turn very, very tightly. I mean, almost 90 degrees. Uh, so the bike, I mean, the bike turns on itself. It's very, very, very good. You uh, may be careful though in that this uh, button here is quite low to the ground. I mean, uh, the beauty is that that's the cable steering here. That turns right, so it's kind of protected by the bottom, but it's still, um, I mean, you, it's quite a low, low to the ground, much closer to the ground than the uh, G4, which is a cheaper version, so that's a fully customizable one. Uh, what else? Uh, what I've added here, you may wonder what is this ugly piece of junk? Well, basically, what happens is that when it rains, the water splashes here and end up on your shoes so you get always wet feet uh, so what I did is that I bought this so it's basically an Ikea piece of wood from a shelves unit that fits just in between here and here that's Ikea one one euro or even 50 cents uh, rugs that I've cut and tightened up with zip ties so here that's for the for the uh, stand to go through here when it swings. Okay, it's not very nice, but at least it gets my feet uh, my feet dry. Uh, one of the good things actually with the V2 is that, I mean, it's a black box, because it's the same black box as on the G4, is the size of the black box. It's pretty, pretty big, comfy. Uh, at the back here, you have loads, literally loads of space that you can use. I mean, this scratch is not super convenient, but it's basically all the stuff that I put at the back. Uh, so you have that, so that, all my tools, this kind of stuff. So this kind of bucket. I uh, have my second battery here, by the way, because I put two batteries, we'll come back to that. And you have quite a bit of space. Um, here as well, I've kind of 3D printed. You, can, you may wonder what that stuff, what actually are holders, so that the JBL speaker, you know, the round, uh, can fit. So I have my music with the kiddos. Uh, and with regards to the space, I mean, clearly there's a lot of space. You can take two times 30 kilos. I can even tell you what my wife fits in it. And my kids are now six and three and a half, and they fit very comfortably here. Uh, okay, so that's the that's the space you have. Now the canopy. So I have, I have the. I think that the old canopy now, the new canopy doesn't come like that. Uh, it comes actually uh, with wings. I mean, all flexible here. There's one drawback here, which is this tube, which is actually split here. Okay, that's normal, but it keeps on unsplitting. But otherwise, it's super convenient. You just put like. fit. Uh, it's a pretty good one. What I've added as well, but because I like, I mean, I'm a motorbike driver, so I like to see behind me. I 3D printed that. That's a, that's a Decathlon. Um, that's a Decathlon mirror. And I've just 3D printed this part, this part, which is kind of clamp and hold with these screws. Um, what I've added as well. Uh, so that's a right stand. I know it's ugly, but I like to to be visible. So that's basically something like that, which has a 
commando here, you press here, and it tells you that you go straight, continuously, you press here, and it tells you that you go right, well, basically, okay, it's uh, here, boom, so it's, uh, it's just a safety measure, but you know, it costs 20 euros, it's nothing. What else? Uh, uh, yes, so the Anviolo hub works pretty well. You cannot change gear while pedaling, but that's okay. But you can still change gears uh, when you're stopped, and that's good. You can not do the full uh, range, but you can probably do a good 30%, maybe even 50% of the, of, the, of, the, of the range, meaning if you're on the highest gear, and you stop, you can probably not go to the lowest gear, but probably go midway. One thing as well that I changed, uh, so I mean, that's a, C, uh, that's a books seat, that's a C17. Uh, from the top, it looks very uncomfortable, but actually it is very comfy. That's kind of rubber, and it comes in kind of, it has this kind of uh, material. It's almost like uh, lizard skin, it's completely uh, biologic, but it's, it's quite nice. It doesn't get damp, so that's good. What I've added though, uh, and I think you need one, because the frame here, I think, is steel. The front is aluminum, so there's a bit of flex, but steel. I mean, there's no suspension, unlike the G4. Uh, no suspension on the front, I mean. But here, uh, it's a bit, when it gets bumpy, it's a bit tough. And this stuff, which is called the SR Centaur NCX, I mean, seriously, it doesn't cost much, and it's very, very, very good. Uh, very good. So, highly recommended. Now, the uh, so I had the choice between the uh, the Bros uh, motor or the manual one or the Shimano, and I went for the Shimano allegedly because it was more reliable. So, this one is allegedly 80 newton meters, uh, which I very much doubt. I think it's much less. Uh, it's a bit. I must, I must say it's a bit light in terms of power uh, and uh, well I'll show you actually in another video uh, that I'm upgrading, upgrading for something much much more beefy and that's the beauty of the V2 which is you see here that the actually the, there's a motor but it's, the frame is not designed for the motor and it comes with this adapter, tape, adapter plate so you have on the frame three prongs one here one here and one here Right? and those has designed this adapter plate, okay, which are aluminum CNC machined okay, to fit between the, the motor and the, and the frame. So technically, because you have quite a bit of space here, right, in all that space, you can fit a much bigger motor if you want. Okay? Uh, because actually the, uh, I felt that the limitation at 25 km an hour uh, is well, to me, to me, it's not enough. I mean, you don't want to go at 50 kilometers an hour with a cargo bike, especially with kids, but maybe 30, 35. So what I've done is that, you may wonder, what is that stuff at the back? Uh, but basically, it's a 3D printed uh, trick, okay, which helps uh, make the motor believe that it is going at 25 kilometers an hour when it goes faster. Okay, so it just changes the ratio. And the way it works is that here, you have a rubber, so here you have a let me go on the other side. So here you have a rubber, okay, that goes through the rear wheel. Okay, so here I'm not sure if you see but it goes well basically it goes okay. it goes here, okay? And then it turns this wheel, okay, which is attached to this block. Okay, this block. It goes here, turns here, and here you have another wheel. You have another rubber just here that turns this wheel on which a magnet, the square magnet is attached, so that the new magnet and the speed and the speed sensor has been moved here. So it is here, and so when the wheel turns, that turns this one. You see the rubber inside, and that just passes by the thing. So that allows roughly when I go at 25, the ratio is roughly 1.5, I think. So I should be so it's a change of ratio. So I go probably at 30 how much? 35 km an hour when it says 25. Um, but still the, the 
the torque. I mean, it's not torquey enough. Uh, as well, one, you, one thing you may want to consider is the battery size. So that's a 500 watt hour battery. And my range with one battery is roughly, and I'm, but to, be, to, be, to be honest, I'm almost always on boost. And where I am, it's quite hilly, but that means that it goes up, but that it goes down as well. Uh, and I do roughly 25 kilometer on one battery. Uh, that said, between the time, between the fully charged and, I mean, fully discharged to the point where the motor is not gonna run and fully charged, even if it says that it's 504 watt hour, I can only add roughly 400 watt hour. So I've already lost kind of 20% of the, uh, I've already lost 100 watt hour. Well, I know that it doesn't go down completely to zero, obviously, but uh, still, I've lost quite a bit. Uh, and it's a bit, it's a bit of a shame. So that's why actually I highly advise you to have a second battery. Uh, and even actually, well, uh, for my new, because I'm gonna have a much beefier motor now, here, very soon. I've received it and I'm getting the, the plate CNC machined, uh, but I'm getting for 2000 watt hour battery. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the brakes, that's the uh, Tektro Gemini SL. Uh, very, very good, to be honest. I really like it. I like this kind of uh, two fingers uh, system. So that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, what else? I mean, there's not really much, uh, I must say. I mean, everything works well. The one thing you want to consider, uh, I mean, clearly you can, you can split the bike okay, in two by removing that and that. Okay, it does tells you that it takes uh, two minutes to do it. Well, good luck to do it in two minutes. It's quite, uh, well, I mean, it's doable, it's fine, whatever, uh, but it's not as easy to do. It takes probably a good, uh, a good five minutes to do, uh, to do it slowly. Uh, one thing you, you may want to do though is that this, I mean, when I received the, the bike, uh, there was a weird feeling on the braking side and I realized that these bolts were not tightened enough and you need to tighten them very, very, very hard so that these two parts here squeeze very hard the middle part, I mean the rear frame, uh, and it's quite tough. So, uh, well, I mean quite tough. So you may want to have the, uh, the lockable ones where you can torque at a specific torque. So that's pretty good. Yeah, one other thing actually that I think that uh, dues will have benefited from actually if, uh, if you look at all the Babu and many other cargo bikes, uh, for the stand, you have a kind of small indentation here so that you can put your foot. Here you don't have it, so it's almost like you need to put your, your foot against here and then pull the bike, which is okay, but I mean, uh, it, could be, it, it could be a small, a small improvement uh, that I will advise them to, to take. Uh, beyond that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a pricey bike. I mean, I paid with the two batteries. I mean, it's kind of almost fully loaded it, but I pay almost 9,000 euros for it. So it's almost <laughs> the price of, it's a bit ridiculous. Oh yeah, as well, sorry, I forgot to say. But, so that's a red one, right? That's a, that's a cheap red version, okay? But when I, uh, when I got it, be careful, it's not a proper, I mean, to me it's not a proper red, it's more kind of orangey red, right? Because that is red, and that's the red. I think it's 5020, I think, the, the color. So if you want a proper, very red or very, very nice red, you may want to pay the extra, extra, the extra, extra uh, for it. Um, so yeah, so roughly 9,000 euros, but when I see the recent Müller ones, uh, which cost almost the same, if not even more actually, and this one, uh, you have more room, it's a uh, comfy, it's a very, very good bike. Uh, it's flexible enough, but it's not too hard flexible. Uh, it's not too uh, wobbly, I find. Uh, you can go fast, bit stable. I mean, I will not uh, lift my, my hands off. One thing as well, okay, because I forgot here, you have a kind of st small step for the kids, which is good, but I don't really know why. On the other side, on the other side, okay. There's none, so actually there's, there's a space for one when you think about it. Be 
because here, okay, here you have the so hole, okay, which is a symmetrical to the other side, but the piece of wood here stops here, right? Well, actually, on the other side, you have a kind of step, um, and I'm not sure why. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Okay, have a nice day.